Nana appears to have entered the Guinness Book of Records when, in constituting his government, President Nana Abedan Kakufado appointed as many as 110 persons to ministerial and deputy ministerial positions. This certainly goes by in history as the, uh, in the history of this country as the largest government ever formed. Never mind that there is no constitutional bar to the number of persons that can be appointed to ministerial positions. But the president has said when he was struck by that, that he will manage the resources of this country prudently. We in the minority do not think that appointing 110 ministers for a country of a population of about 25 million is the prudent way to manage our resources. But even more serious and subtle constitutional issue is the appointment itself. The president is enjoined by, by the 1992 constitution to appoint a majority of his ministers from parliament. That is Article 71, 78 1 of the 1992 constitution. The president also appoints regional ministers and deputy regional ministers with clearly defined responsibilities. That is under Article 256 of the Constitution. Article 79 provides that deputy ministers of state shall assist in the performance, in, assist ministers in the performance of their functions. Therefore, deputy ministers of state, unlike deputy regional ministers, have no existence of their own. Article 2951 defines minister to mean a minister appointed under Article 78 or 295 of the Constitution. It is the position of the 1992 Constitution that deputy ministers of state appointed under Article 79 of the Constitution are not ministers for the purposes of reckoning whether the president have appointed a majority of his ministers from parliament. Now, when you do the calculation, reading all these provisions together, you will come to one, at one conclusion, that there, is a, there has been a subtle breach.